Hello there, it's John Hall from Right Here Pens. Um, I realise you haven't seen me for a while and you might think I've gone away or it's somebody else's hands doing the review, but it's not, it's me. And we're going to do a fairly interesting unboxing today, so let's get on with it. This is goodbye from my face. Right, well here are my hands to introduce the Twisby Go. It comes in two colours, and you can tell from the box that's the sapphire one and this is the smoke one um, by the different coloured circles. They're both actually demonstrators of both clear pens. Now as you can see from the wrapping, um, it's typical Twisby. Um, I really like this sort of whole mealy cardboard um, effect that they use for all of their boxes. It's, it's understated, smart and yeah, it's, it's about, it's right, it's right, it's good. Um, and inside you've got a plastic box, a good sturdy plastic box actually. I'll get rid of this one for the moment. There we go. Good sturdy plastic box which has Twisby, as you can see, written on it. And you've got all the information you need to know about the pen that you're receiving. Here, barcodes, stuff in Chinese, characters. Nib size, the whole lot. There we are. So let's just tip this. But you're wondering what's in the box. Well, not much other than a pen, would be my guess, because there's not a lot of space for anything else other than a pen. But as always, Twisby have continued the wrapping process really well, actually. I'm, I'm very impressed by this. So here we are, Twisby Go. We have a bit of information about the pen, and I suspect it's going to tell you how to fill it. And it couldn't really be a great deal easier, could it? And I'll, we'll have a go at this in a minute. So anyway, that's this, as always with Twisby. Um, very straightforward instructions. There we are. So, now to keep it safe in its travels, because this is going all the way from Taiwan, it's held in this, and it's held very tight in the box. But they've also actually put little indents there so it's easy to get the box open and one thing and another. So a well boxed pen but what do we think about it? Well let's have a look. It's interesting isn't it? Um, certain demonstrator here you can see what's going on at the front end. A smoke barrel. What else can we see on the outside? A little bit of... there we go. What's this for here? I assume that this is probably to stop the pen rolling off your desk. Although I've got to say this isn't quite round and there seem to be various sort of bits emerging from it. I'm not quite sure what these are, but they're definitely there. Answers on a postcard, please. Now, does it say go? It might. I don't know really, I don't know. But anyway, also there's a sort of vague diamond pattern that you can see on the cap here. And the other thing we need to note about the cap is that no, there is no clip. And also there is no screw thread, so it just pops straight off like that. To reveal, always one of the nice features of a Twisby. A nice German nib from Jovo. And you'll see this is the 1.1 stub. And here we have Close up of the feed, the lamellae, which is what gets the ink down to the nib. And there we go, we've got the feed there. And what the untutored eye would appear to be a large bed spring at the far end of it. So let's see what we can do here. I'm sure you've already seen the instructions and worked out what I'm about to show you, which is that to fill the pen, you unscrew. And here you have a little piston. No, it's not a, well, it could be a bed spring, of course, but there we go. And that's the way it works. So we're going to 
go to one I've looked at earlier to fill it. But before we do that, we're going to have a look at the weight of the pen and the size comparable to other Twisbees and another well-known pen. So I just happen to have beside me um, a set of scales. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I hope that we're still sort of. There we go. Can we see that? Yes, we can. So we're going to pop first of all the Twisby Go. And we've got, well, unfilled, 18 grams. That's pretty light, actually. It's probably about the same as a Lamy Safari, not a million miles off. This is a Twisby Classic. And we're going to pop that on there as well. That's 20. Well, actually, that's quite interesting. I would have thought that would have been a good deal heavier, but it's not actually, is it? So let's also take a look at this Lamy Safari. And there we go, that's quite a good deal heavier, but that is of course a metal rather than a plastic pen. So we've had a look at the weight. Let's just compare the sizes. Get that out of the way. So the first thing that's clear is that this is a fairly chunky sort of a pen. Um, it's not. It's a similar length to both of them. I think it's a teasy bit shorter than either. But it does seem quite broad, quite stocky. And if we have a look at the at the grip, well, actually, there's quite a big reduction in size at the reduction in girth of, of the grip as it goes down so here we are that's that's pretty good that's pretty good and it is actually quite comfortable to hold now as with many of my videos this is actually take two and so we're going to fill the blue version and see how that goes and for this grand filling we're going to use my very favourite Kosumasu ink from Irishizuku. Lovely stuff. And I just happen to have a bottle of it lying about on my table. So here we go. I have tried this before, as you can tell, but we're going to go through it all again and see how well it works. So here we go. Let's get the cap off and Get this a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. So we need to take the top off the ink first. Stupid. Come on. There we go. And now we take the barrel off the pen. Quite a lot of long way to go with the screw there. And then I think what's the best way to do it? I think this is the best way to do it. It's not particularly strong spring, which is good, but it's definitely strong enough. So we pop it into the ink. And up we come. And we, I'd say we've got a fairly good feed there, actually. Fill there. Not bad at all. There are many pens that would be delighted with that sort of a fill. And it's an interesting mechanism. And as you can see, very simple to use. There we are. So we're going to pop the back on here. And then, what a shock. We're going to do something that really ought to happen in all pen reef reviews but probably doesn't. Not all of mine I'm sure anyway. We're going to get a bit of paper and we're going to see how it writes. Now this is a medium nib and I'm surrounded by stuff here. Let's give myself a bit of space before there's a disaster. Does it post? Oh crikey yes it does. Look at that. That's quite nice. Actually it's quite nice unposted as well. Now as I've reflected many times, my handwriting is ghastly and reaching around this thing doesn't help one bit. So, A, medium, medium. Twisby Go, and it's Sapphire. 
bees in sapphire. And we've got two in. There we go. So, there ends the review by Right Here Limited. From Shrewsbury. Of this very interesting and I think very worthy pen. The thing that I haven't mentioned about it is that it's remarkably inexpensive. It's even less expensive than their Echo and it's got some clever stuff in it. I doubt if it'll last forever but my goodness me I think you can have quite a lot of fun with it. The Twisby Go. <laughs>